Welcome back. So let's now discuss the C hyperparameter. So we said that the C hyperparameter can be viewed as a way of controlling overfitting, right? So how we can do so? Let's say we want to decrease C, right? We will decrease C and instead of C being equal to 0.1, we will make it equal to 0 0.005, 0 0.0001 and so on, right? So let's say we want to decrease C until it reaches zero, right? So if we decrease C, then we are reducing the bias and increasing the variance. So if we increase the variance, this means we are increasing the chance of overfitting, right? So this also means we become less tolerant to violations of the margin, right? So the margin will be narrower and narrower and narrower, right? So if we make C equal to zero, so we are decreasing C more and more and more, right? We will focus on hard margin, right? We will go in the direction of hard margin, right? So we said in the last lesson that if we just take this part of the equation, right? This part of the equation is for hard margin. So if we just focus on this part, then this means we have something like this. All the data points need to be classified correctly. We don't really tolerate any misclassification, right? If we increase C, right? If we increase C here or here, then we are allowing misclassification. So this way we are going in the direction of soft margin, right? So decreasing C will reduce the bias, increase the variance. So the margin will be narrower and narrower, right? So we become less tolerant to the violations of the margin and if we increase c the opposite will happen the bias will increase the variance will be reduced and we become more tolerant to the violations of the margin right so how we can choose c c is generally chosen via cross validation so we do cross validation we check with c equal to 0.1 with c equal to 0.5 1 100 1000 and see what is the best test accuracy because we don't really focus on the training accuracy and the test accuracy in this case will be the validation accuracy so we use cross validation in order to find c so c is very very important for controlling overfitting if we decrease c then the chance of overfitting will increase and if we increase c right so if we decrease c the chance of overfitting will be higher and higher and if we increase c the chance of overfitting will be lower and lower but at the same time if we increase c so much then we will have a very very large or very wide margin right we will have a very wide margin in this case so in this case the training accuracy itself will be low right so we will go in the direction of underfitting so increasing C will lead to underfitting, right? And decreasing C will lead in the direction of overfitting. So we want to find the sweet spot of C, the optimal value of C or the best value of C that doesn't really overfit or underfit. Okay, so this is very, very important hyperparameter. Now, in the next lesson, we will discuss the kernel trick. Okay, we discussed what do we mean exactly by the kernel, but we will discuss in the next lesson why it's a trick and why it's actually pretty good with the SVM, right? And after that, we will see how we can choose the C hyperparameter and perform the cross validation. So let's go to the next lesson.